Hi everybody, welcome back to Terra Firma Craft Season 5, Episode 136 with me, Sid, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work between episodes and there's nothing really much to see for it um, here because I haven't been doing the work here. I have uh, been doing the work um, uh, over that way. Uh, you'll see in a moment, but first things first, I need to get some fruit-based food sorted for myself because uh, I have got absolutely nothing prepared and with that in mind no oh, oh dear uh, no not that one that one we are going to need oh bum um all right well you can have a uh, Double maze, I suppose. There you go. Bang, 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 bang. And we'll need to sort out my thing. Um, the observant amongst you will notice that there is a uh, normal bow in my inventory. That is instrumental to my uh, to my work here. But we are going to need to take a couple of those with us. We'll uh, we'll stick that in there. And that one can go in there. In fact, we shall take three of them. That sounds like a plan. And we're going to head off to the uh, to the roguelike. But before we do that, I want to just check something. Um, so this was a question asked. Um, why don't you just chisel the torches from the bow torch? And the answer is, I don't know. There's a torch wrong chisel of course so down you go here we go chunky thank you and hmm yeah can you can we not actually chisel that in situ i wonder i think i used the wrong key for that let me just try puts it out okay so we can't chisel them in situ but we can break them and pick them back up again that's fine so i came over between episodes over here and did a little bit of ex explorer rating um we'll take you and hmm that bit with me i think that should be adequate do i want a door a door might not be a bad idea okay so we're gonna have a door uh anything else let's take a little bit of stone just in case we need it put that back anything else anything anything else let me actually just take a little bit of this. This is entirely ad libbing, by the way. I'll take those because you never know, Mike. Mike will be handy. <laughs> um, so, obviously, we've gone that way and we can go down a level. And we have pretty much, you know, sort of gone through here like a dose of salts. We've gone this way um, and uh, we have started on the next. Oh, hello. Slime chunk, obviously. I didn't even know slime chunks were a thing. That slime has got 600 hit points. That was an impressive slime. Anyway. So I went this way, and we previously went that way, but I carried on through here. Now, I have lit this. It should be safe. I have not currently um, looked through this lot, but you've got some, some pretty good bits and pieces, some potions of healing. Um what you got black bronze so again i'm not going to break all of this this i will come back and deal with this at a later time 
Uh, there's another one there, look, with some uh, black bronze halberds. It would have been lovely to be able to melt those back down, but I don't think I can. Now, this area is not too bad. Um, the spawners were were a little bit obnoxious. And the, you know, you get the odd place where, like these, where you would find, not all of them, but some of them would have things, obviously, we didn't go that way and we come came over here now there is a very specific reason why i was looking to head down i have gone out that way as well just to check but there is a room in the roguelite dungeons and i wanted to find it now this particular one at this level you have to be careful of these um uh, because it's tnt uh we also need to double check be iron axe handy uh, wrought iron hammer an enchanted one as opposed to that we'll take it and uh, bismuth shovel with unbreaking please all useful however this this room was the one I was looking for ages ago because it has these now in theory we should be able to summon a wither uh, I'm not going to today because we're going to continue on this way down to here um, nothing much over that way uh, I haven't looked at those not much over there also not much over there the direction we needed to go was that way. I just need to get rid of this lock because it's going to annoy me. I annoy easily. Halberds, bronze swords, lots of nice things. I don't know why we're getting that tweaky bird sound here. And we carry on around here. And... Uh, Again, these are not too bad because it's mainly natural spawns in these areas. These areas are where you get the spawners. And you'll see ahead, there is a spawner, what I have left, and that I've blocked off entirely. There's a, a cave spider spawner through that way and I just couldn't be bothered to deal with it. And this, this is the space where I want to do a little bit of work. So first things first, I would like to get as much of this chiseled as possible I want to basically I don't know I can't but you can if you do that of course which is equally valid I suppose but I want to just stop any potential cave-ins um, in this area And needless to say, you know, we don't really want cavings if we can avoid it. Because they're going to wreck your day, you know. They just hurt. Um, hmm. Where have I not been able to... Oh, okay. There's definitely another spawner in range somewhere along the line but uh, okay there there oh, I see you up there sir hmm I don't think you can get to me we we'll probably should um Pop some lights up there though, just to cut down potential spawns. So we've still got that. Oh, that one went. That was okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I can't. Yes, I can jump uh, there. Ah, did I get... No, I think I missed... Hmm. Mm hmm. God damn it. Well, I can take that out, can't I? I can probably... Let me just see. 
let's just try a little bit of creative filling of the the spaces up here because I know there's a zombie hmm did that work can I relax a wee bit now that one there again I'm just going to try and chisel as much of this as possible um, and I definitely want to clear that out if I can just because oh we've got quite a few fellas up here ow there is a lot of fellas up here ow a lot of skeletons We definitely need to close this off, whatever it is. Okay, well this is going to take me a hot moment, so I will... I will clear as much of this as humanly possible, and I'll be back. Well, maybe we're there. Yes, we are. There we go. That should prevent, I think, any... Wow, that's a lot of junk. That should prevent any any further spawns up there. Because we don't really want them up there, so... Right, what have we got? Hmm. What <laughs> I've got... I have got absolutely nothing with which to control this. So, Enderman Spawner. Do you know what I did? Oh, I didn't bring it. Oh, God, I feel so foolish. Well, let's deal with the initial problem, and that is we need to ensure that we can get no Enderman coming in here with us when we look at them, spawn them in, do all the relevant bits, and... Uh, you know, we can get out there. If an enderman, if an enderman teleports out there, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I would like to do is perhaps go do that. And then if we just... Mm. Lower that light level. Um, what can we do? to control mobs abilities to get in there I suppose a trapdoor would be the obvious thing but we can stimulate these guys basically when we're done coming here but the problem with these is they have 4,000 hit points they are not trivial anyway we need just F, oops, F7, just make sure I've not destroyed any lighting. We need to actually go and get the one thing that I forgot, which is somewhat embarrassing. I also need to try and figure out where. Can, you, can I? Hmm. Can I not see? Hmm. Okay, I need to go back and get the uh, beheading sword back in a moment. All right, I'm just back here. I uh, I'm just looking. Well, I'm not looking. I know I know where it is. Uh, I'm just looking to drop those off. 
Can you melt those? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> this is a um, thing. So I think, if I recall, the item I require is in here, which is a mithril reinforced beheading sword. Um, probably should have. What I would like to do is either make a red. Oops, F7 there. A red steel or a um, mi um, manualing thing because this only does 176 damage, so it's gonna take forever to kill an enderman. Um, but still, it is what we got right now. Uh, I don't have enough red steel, blue steel, or cobalt and ardite to make a really good beheading sword. Um, so, yeah, because you need eight ingots, I've got enough. Enough ardite to make um, enough ardite and cobalt to make six manualin, and yeah, it's just not an option. So things. So interesting. I just wanted this little observation while heading back that I wanted to share with you all. Um, so you'll probably know from various sessions that I, I am a bit of a fan of the old Doctor Who. Uh, and I'm, I'm currently re-watching the, um, well, the entire, entire available Doctor Who back catalogue on, uh, on iPlayer, uh, BBC iPlayer, of course. Wow, that lot didn't despawn, okay. However... Oi! I'll take that one. Um, and this is going to take a while. I've just got to I think series series eight. I think it is season eight. Whatever. Oh, there's the first head. That one, one of them. Um, and. Uh, it's just turned on to Peter Capaldi um, as the Doctor, which I didn't really think much. Of. Yeah, I quite like him as a Doctor. He's a, he's a very a, 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 a suitable and acceptable Doctor. But um, what I noticed is uh, the other night, just I was bored and I wanted a film to watch that didn't really take a great deal of effort. And I watched uh, World War Z, or World War Z, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. And it had Peter Capaldi in it. And I went, hang on, that's Peter Capaldi, isn't it? And I, and I went and did the check, check the um, author thing. And uh, sure enough, it was Peter Capaldi. It was a uh, thing. But what made me laugh, and I, I swear this, this had to be a a deliberate choice was he was a World Health Organization doctor and it actually had him as who doctor and and that it just made it just tickled me a little bit Boop, right there that's all I needed for those for now ah get Um, and it was just the the fact that they'd cast Doctor Who as a Who Doctor. Sorry, I need to get out with my uh, my loot now. So uh, yeah, if you've if you've not seen it, just or, or you have seen it but not spotted it, just skip to the end to the bit where they're they're doing the bit the you know. The zombies don't attack people who are terminally ill or infected or ill kind of thing. Um, silly concept as far as I'm concerned, but there you go. And, uh, well, you'll see for yourself. I did manage to do this. Uh, there you go. That will get us out quicker. Anyway, let's um, get back home and I shall be back with you in a moment 
All right, it's a shiny new day, and you're probably wondering what all of that was about and why I wanted it. So, first things first, um, I forgot that you can cast anything. So that's a chisel and a hammer molt. Any, you can take that, if I can just pick it up, and that can be used, obviously, to make shapeless crafting, used for smelting, blah, 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 it's profile, but you can cast any of the steel hammerhead, wrought iron hammerhead, black steel hammerheads, red and blue. You don't need to faff around making these bloody things in the forge all the time, which I'm just doing out of force of habit. So it occurred to me that first things we probably should make, we've got a hammer and a chisel, but if I make a home mold, for example, Uh, which is that. Um, I've got is it eight slots yet. Yeah, okay. And then we'll go for a knife mold. So, oh, uh, boom. Hello. Let's try that again. Let's uh, go with that one. Mace mold. Well, why not? I haven't made a mace, but I could potentially want one going forward. Uh, a pick mold, yeah, we'll def definitely go for one of them. That's four. Pro pick, that's the. That's a pick, I don't want that. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I want a pro pick, which is. Okay, yeah, it's that one. So that's five. So. Okay, that was, if I remember rightly, Claire, apparently I don't. Let me just double check that again. Oh, right, yes, that's how you did it. So you go in like that, and like that, and then like that, and like that, but that one went there. So there's our saw mold. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Couple more scythe mold. Mm, so it's that and then that and two. Why not? Uh, is there anything else I want? I suppose I could do the gear and stuff, but let me go with a shirt. No, not a javelin mold, uh, a shovel mold. So that will just allow me to mould any of the Tinkers, uh, not Tinkers, the TFC things very easily without faffing around every time we're doing this. However, we're going to we're going to have to wait a moment for that. So we'll uh, we'll chuck that one away and might as well just potter around and do uh, a few bits while I wait for those to cook and uh, first off out the bat oh hang on don't do they break uh, a question but however I need two two iron two one two and uh, they are going to be popped in there all right um, I'll be back when they're cooked all right, so we, we should have all of this. Uh, they are done. The one I want is the knife mold. We're going to whack that in there and we're going to pull two iron knife blades. Um, at the cost of just a couple of iron ingots, that's fine. <coughs> we are going to have to, unfortunately, I think think I don't imagine there is a way that I can turn those into shears without heating them yeah that's that is what I suspected however that does not matter we have got our iron knife blades so at least that's one thing we don't have to muck around with and we can obviously heat those up turn them into shears and the world will be good and happy 
In the meantime, I'm also going to take these four and those four, and we are going to get a basic capacitor because we used our last one up. And we're going to just run over here and get a bit of a charge on that. It only takes a million RF, so you know it'll be fine. There's 25 million RF in there, so it should last. I'll let that charge um, <clears throat> and once we've got those up to temperature let's just have a look how we're doing uh, not there yet we are going to make a slice and a splice so we're going to need an axe that's easy we need a machine casing that's easy we need a skull of some description, easy, hopefully, and solarium, which is relatively easy, uh, com you know, comparatively speaking. <clears throat> and we're going to need that to use these, and those are going to be going into, if I can get myself into there, in the slice and splice, we need to make uh, and a resonator and then the resonator is going to allow us to make dimensional transceivers yeah we're going we're going high tech now <clears throat> the reason we need a dimensional tr transceiver or the reason i think we need a dimensional transceiver is i'm going to want to i think move my excavator at some point i need to get some different metals um Gold is always one we're short of. Copper we, we always seem to be running up short on. Uh, I'd like to find a uranium deposit because that will give us pitch blending eulorium, which will be really useful going forward. However, it's all going to start with a pair of shears and some Enderman heads. Hence why all of the running around like an idiot doing the Enderman head thing. Yeah. It was that much fun. Right, I'm going to get this right up to temperature. Uh, I'm just going to stick those in there so we can pitch them straight in. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I'm just popped over to the dungeon um, to save myself a little bit of time. They are ready to work, so we can pop those in, do that. Just bring you all the way up and then boop, 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 down. There's some shears. Uh, we'll take our food things. I wonder where they've gone. And I grabbed the iron axe that was in there that was enchanted. I figure it might work. Um, this will be interesting if it doesn't. It will take, see, yeah. It won't take that one. And. It'll take the axe, it just won't take the shears. Right, is there anything I can do with these to make them into Minecraft shears? Yes, there is. Slash game mode C. We're going to get shears from Minecraft and we're going to bin Terra Firmacraft ones. annoyances but there you go it won't be the first it certainly won't be the last will that work it will it also i'm not sure whether it's actually using any durability on those at all i mean those should that should last for ages if it yeah it is using durability but that's fine now we have an ender resonator and we can obviously use that to make a dimensional transceiver with a few other bits and pieces. Ender crystal, we need an enderman soul. Oh Christ, didn't we have problems getting that as well? Yeah, I think we're gonna to have to cheat that one in as well. Because it doesn't work. But, that's fine. Now there's a reason for this. Um, before I want to go all of that way. And that is uh, linked to the reason that I wanted this. In my haste, or 
in you know stupidity you name it you pick a name it doesn't really matter i have lost my um the the journey map the waypoints that i positioned all the way around this area to tell me that these are uh, what these zones were now it occurs to me that i may not naturally need the transceiver at all i may just be able to move the excavator which is incidentally still pulling iron out of and sulfur out of the ground um i've just emptied it to sulfur i'm throwing the sulfur away because it's just too much information but if i can come in an f9 here we can come and re-excavate re this these areas within you know so well, i suppose for want of a better word spitting distance of the um of the power array there because i can always just run cables over uh, a couple of chunks that's always an option especially with them being relatively low voltage but the other thing i could do is stick a dimensional transceiver in and that would potentially tell me what I want, you know, allow me to transmit energy from all over the place. That's nothing. Okay. So I'll take you and you. Um, now I'm going to go over to this chunk. I'm, I say, I don't I can't remember whether I did these ones or not. Now I could just go and mine up the area again, but to be fair, it is easy just to run this through so you know we are uh, got a little screenshot I'm not sure how much of this we'll use I am also conscious of time so uh, let me run around here get a few chunks analyzed and I'll be back in a moment all right um we I've done a little bit of mapping <laughs> uh, I covered all this stuff we did before and a little bit more so we've come over here now, if I go and turn off all of the non-entries, then we should be in a better... I'm going to leave them actually as um, entries because that will allow me to see which chunks I've analysed. And if we just run down, there shouldn't be that much more. He says with like hundreds of the bloody things. Bum, 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 uh, bum, 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 do close here we should see that we've got a lead vein the coal vein there there's a cassiterite vein bauxite coal gold bauxite and magnetite of course that is more useful if you couple it up with if i can find the right book you're not in there are you over there yes you are excellent if we couple that up with the heavy machinery and look at the excavator and then look at the minerals Bauxite literally just gives us aluminium, so that's handy should we want any more, but at the moment we're okay. Cassarite, uh, cassarite, cryolite and sphalerite, so zinc, nickel and glowstone I think off the top of my head. Um, coal is useful, that it gives us anthracite, it's got 5% chance of all of these little, very small percent chance of these, but it's, you know, we don't really need it. Copper, we haven't found, so it's irrelevant. Galana, which is lead, has a good chance of native silver, which is also useful. Gold is gold, copper, and garnerite, so nickel. So that's actually not a bad vein to find at all. Uh, iron is hematite, garnerite, or cassiterite. Um, I think it's actually slightly different than that, but uh, in fact, lead is, uh, yeah, okay, magnetite. Uh, magnetite gold and bismuth so again nice one nickel 
we didn't find, platinum we haven't found, pyrite we haven't found, quartz we haven't found, silver we haven't found. That's the beastie I want. <laughs> um, but anyway, that gives us a whole load of stuff. So if I were to, uh, we're, we're running fairly close to time right now. Um, again, I'm conscious that I don't want to, I'm trying to cut back the length of the episodes a little bit because my episodes are just running long a lot at the moment and I think it's just because I'm losing track of my waffle. Um, so next episode, I think we are going to aim to get the dimensional transceivers done to transmit um, energy and we'll probably move this. Um, I may do some dimensional transceiving instead and i think on that note we are going to call this an episode um so until next time thank you very much for watching i will see you soon bye for now